So guys, we're nearly ready to eat, believe it or not. The food. Yeah. Um, this is for our tea. Show your I put all the ingredients in, 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 um, uh, in order of hardness. Apart from the onions, always goes first. Because then that flavors the yeah, little nice. bit of oil that I had in there. And it coats everything out. Next one's the pumpkin, the zucchini, and obviously the green leaves at the very end. And yeah, I just yeah. shredded those slightly just so they uh, break down a bit. And we don't want to cook that too much because at the end of the day, it is going back into the oven. Yeah. So what I like today, because we're lucky enough to have yeah, a great right. fry pan, thank you, a great fry pan like that, it to go like this. Reuse the pan because then that's less washing up, which often is a good incentive to cooking. You know, you're cooking, you're going to pull this washing up and say, I'm not going to do it because of that. Yeah. Um, uh. <laughs> he knows. No, I do anyway. Yeah, all the time. He who cooks does not clean up. So, what we want is a, is a, oh, that's me. That's, that's the time I've done that. To make a uh, cartouche for your pan out of, again, that fabulous silicon baking paper. Measure it to the center, and so I need that to be trimmed off. Yeah. Open this one, crunch it up. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I like that idea, yeah, it works for me, yep. Yeah. That into there. Now, the recipe says that we can line it with bread as a form of pastry. So we're going to continue using some nice wholemeal bread. Don't want the crusts on, otherwise... Well, you don't want curly hair, Tony? No! Mine's a little past that, I'm afraid. No, it just makes it a, um, um, an evener crust to lay out, so to speak. So. Mind that. No, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, and I think that's the beauty about cooking to a certain degree. You, you don't want everything perfect, perfect, otherwise, again, it puts that pressure on you that I'm not going to go because it, it's imperfect. Yeah. yeah. So it has to be sort of like stylized a bit to your own um, uh, level or what you like. And I think that's oh, that's looking pretty good to me. Yeah. Yeah. We'll give it a little spray of olive oil, not much, and it just stops our liquid mixture soaking into the bread as much. Now, if you really want a crusty, crusty pastry, so to speak, you would now put that in the oven and let it crispen up before you put your food mixtures into it. Yeah, but we're, I'm quite happy that that's going to be crispy enough and sort of like um, um, semi-soft. Put our nice sautéed ingredient in. It's a great mixture of colours slash flavours. Interesting about the bread. Mm. And then an uh, egg mixture that has been um, um, halted slightly by putting some um, skim milk in there. That just sort of like thins yeah. it down a bit. Now you could put you know, some sliced tomatoes over the top. Yeah. And, uh, treat yourself with a little bit of um, cheese, maybe. Yep. Your dietitian says it's all right. Yep. Which is the best? The best cheese, Parmesan? Is that the least? Um, uh, yeah. Um, I think. Depends what you're going to use it for. Well, for, some, yeah. for something like this, we put on top. You could use um, a little bit of Parmesan for flavour. You could use a bit of ricotta. Or no, cheese. Yeah. I'm going to use some of our roasted tomatoes. I'm going to use the rest oh, of good. these. Looks amazing. Sear tomatoes mm. for um, yeah. uh, our sauce for our salmon. Beautiful. So. That's as simple as that, that's, that's done. But, and that could be a meal on its own, really, I suppose. Absolutely. Certainly, couldn't it? So, I like those little bits sticking up because they will go nice and crispy and give you a bit more texture and a bit of interest. If we have a look at our steamer here. After you've had a facial. After you've had a facial. <laughs> give the fish a bit of a touch, a bit of a dip, and that always tells you exactly how it's cooked. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, it's firmed up. So, even if it's slightly medium rare, that's fine because it will finish cooking mm. in its own heat, so to speak. Yeah? You really don't want to overcook it because it's just too dry and, and whatever else. So that's good. What's going with that fish is a tray of roast vegetables that we put in earlier. Now they're getting very, very close. 
I did put some rosemary on top of the vegetables. Um, uh, they also say to put some basil in, but I love to put the basil in after they've been roasted, otherwise it, it just burns too much. So they won't take too much longer, and there they're done. This is going to go into the oven at the same time. And that's one of the great things about having a fry pan that has a steel handle as opposed to one you know, of those plastic ones that you buy. You put the whole, thing, the whole thing in the oven. You're going to slip it out of the oven afterwards, cut it up. Two course start meal, get rid of our mess, and then the last thing you're going to have with your meal today, which is like a week <coughs> meal and a half to second degree, is we're going to make a fruit, sorry, a vegetable slash fruit smoothie, a green smoothie. 